Welcome into Fox Carolina tailgate joined by Corey Miller and Patrick Sapp. Both teams coming off of some wins, some hard fought wins, hmm. some needed wins. Hmm. Let's save it with South Carolina right off the bat. Battle hmm. of the Gamecocks. This one a lot closer than a lot hmm. of fans would have liked to have seen mm. than the coaching staff would have liked to have seen as well. I think that's fair to yeah. mention because Shane Beamer has been saying that. How are you feeling after that game? Well, listen, a win is a win, right? They don't put in the category how you won the game, right? It's Tiger Woods makes an eagle or birdie. Do they put in there, well, he hit it right into the woods. He's behind the tree, now they had a low cut yeah. shot. To get yes, they, they do. do. They yes, might they talk do. about it, but the scorecard says three on a par five eagle, right? So a win is a win. I don't get the fans complaining and murmuring and all this stuff. Listen. By the way, Jacksonville State is a good team. Coach Rich Rod is a great coach. I mean, so this wasn't no low give me football game. They struggled. They found a way in the fourth quarter to get the win. That's all you can ask for. If you want to complain, complain. But for me, I want to win. Yes, you're not happy about the things that transpired, right? You go coach those things up. But the bottom line is to get the dub. They got the dub. You move on to next week. Now, was it pretty? No. But I'll take a pretty win. So Over ugly Shane Beamer <laughs> said, I almost called him Dabo Sweeney, which I think is fair because they're kind oh, of God. preaching oh. the same message these last Are couple they? of weeks. Winning yes. is hard, and you have to appreciate the wins no matter how and when you get them. Is that not the overarching message that both of these men are preaching right now? Yeah, but, you know, but still, yeah, I mean, but don't, don't compare Shane Beaver to Dabo Swinney. I think you're doing oh, it. Oh, my God, he though. has Dabo's oh, playbook. That's going, who he's copying. I was going to say, though, that Shane said that criticism is fair, yeah. something we also heard Dabo say the last couple of weeks, but it's how you do it and what you're criticizing. So but, where is the fair criticism for you? The fair what, criticism what is your is criticism of They Saturday? haven't played in, in, in the level or up to the level in which fans believe, right? They ended last year on a great note. They beat two top five teams in, in Tennessee and Clemson. And, of course, you go in the bowl game against Notre Dame. You should have won that game, but you had no players. So they ended last year on a good note. But this year, you got to be honest with yourselves. Guys, they lost. This is their eighth, ninth starting lineup at the offensive line. They've lost their mm. best wide receiver in Juice Wells. They've lost two of their secondary guys. This has been rotation mm. everywhere. Mm. So, listen, no mm. excuses made next man up mentality. But uh, South Carolina isn't there yet. They still gonna, are building. Are you going to jump in there? Yeah, I'm Listen, just, hey, I'm, no, I'm, I'm letting them finish this point. Let I'm, I'm letting them finish. But this is not. Go ahead, bro. But then Corey will go for the whole show. <laughs> uh, you know, no. So, so <laughs> you're right about that because he has a bunch of excuses right now. No, I'm, that's all that's I'm here. facts. No, so here's what I'm saying. So when Clemson struggled early in the season against some lesser opponents, what did you say in those times? Oh, yeah, what did you right. say? You, gotta bring you remember all oh, those receipts come back? Yeah. You you talked about it because I said a win. I, have a I said I said yes. They the whole entire all year. Offensive line all year. Hurt. I said a win is a win, regardless. And you jumped on me they about Clemson. Sorry, they don't have they no talent. This is why Duke. they're struggling. Duke. We find out Duke is a good team. But here's what I'm gonna say. Let's stay on task. <sighs> so you say there about a win is a win. Come on now. This is a step back. They struggled at this part of the season against Jacksonville State. Listen, you, it, you're, you're trending down. It's so already you, down. You There's no trending down. No, no, no you Carolina, are, though, because you, you have a chance to finish the rest of the season on somewhat okay. of a high note. Did they win? So if you go, no, no, but okay. you're saying, but the fans don't see it that way. Who you cares? still had the booze. That's what matters, too, right? Your fan no, base. No, 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 so no, you no, still no. have I'm, the booze. Listen, you still have the booze by the performance on the field. Okay. It was not a clean game. They did not play good. They did not play with much passion and energy. That has to be a concern. Has to be a concern. Okay, let me just give Regardless this. if let they me won just, the game or not. I said this in one of my uh, YouTube posts this week, right? I have to listen to Dabo foolishness last week. And then again, I want to get to this <laughs> in a minute. Um, and then hearing Shane in his press conference, listen, we're coaches. This is for all coaches. Please stay off social media. I don't get it. We get caught up into social media. I know they have to for recruiting, but when you're worried about what a podcast or a radio station or even myself saying about your program, if, if I'm a, uh, drawing all this attention to you, you got a problem. 
I don't care who the coach is. I understand what fans are going to say. This fans is short for fanatical, right? They don't understand what you understand. They don't understand everything that goes into winning football games during the week. Why are we sure. giving all this cred to the fan base? I'm sorry. We need you. We love you. We like you. But when coaches start doing this every week, responding to the fans, it's a problem. Well, I can, I can agree I with can that agree to that. a point, but here's I'm what I would spitting, say to I'm, that, though. I'm spitting. I'm talking so <laughs> Listen, loud. Listen, the fans actually make your atmosphere in your stadium. They pay your salaries. They influence the AD to say, hey, I would pay you $11 million because of the ticket sales and the enthusiasm around the program. So you got to give them some attention. But you're right. You can't get pulled into get the individuals. You can't get pulled into the different outlets and the different shows and let that affect you and right. change who you are. And I agree with right? saying you got to find some joy. You got to appreciate wins. But at the same time, what's the expectation? Right. What's your goal? Yep. Where are you as a program? Clemson is in a different place than South Carolina. Clemson has been a national championship team. South Carolina is trying to get there. So the expectations can't be the same. That's why my answer to you is different. You guys come into the year with your chest poked out, and we're the standard, <laughs> and we did we are. that. We are. You're that's not. why That's why you see our fans so outraged at the way we played this season, because we have hit right. that standard, and we are there as a program. And we've been there though. consistently. You're not the standard. We are, in my opinion. And we are, in our fan base opinion, that's why Louisville, they USA. care so much. Okay. So since so, 2018, since the Ohio State game, what have you done? Do I, I got we, receipts we, go, of go what check you have them. done. You've been a 500 football team. And you since 2018? Here, since you lost Ohio you gotta State. you got to go check them receipts a little better. Check them. So, check them. so South check Carolina is now welcoming Vandy to town. The SEC... I don't, I don't want to be rude to teams, but the, the bottom rude. feeder of the SEC. Yeah. So, how, nah, And we're I, concerned. And it's a game that you're still a little, that we are a little bit concerned about. Of course concerned. In fact, he should wait, be wait, over the whole year you because that's what y'all do. You are, you are a Clemson person. Are Go you, on on that I side. Abel not, likes you, oh, remember? He does like me. <laughs> All right, so he watches Shane this Beamer, show. So suppose I bet he don't watch it when I'm on here. Because he hear the truth. <laughs> Shane Beaver likes me too. Come on. Listen, Vanderbilt is Vanderbilt, right? South Carolina should win the football game, but Where's I'm your not. Confidence I'm level not in convinced. That? Yeah. Because I've seen the movie. I've been watching this movie all year long, guys, and I know they have a lot of issues. When you have eight, nine chains at the offensive line. They are beat up, banged up. That's that's a problem when you are not a, a team that's full of uh, a great depth, right? That's a problem. I'm a realistic person. So can they lose this game? Yes. I don't expect them to. But I also know that they can. I'm a realist. You're not. You live in a fantasy <laughs> you can't, world. No, I'm that not. That is the difference. What did I say? I say we will beat Notre Dame, and we did because we were talented enough to beat that team. <sighs> It was, just, it was about the response to the coach. Mm -hmm. And I'll say that about this Vanderbilt game. How are they going to respond? Even though they won the game. They play so hard. I'm not going to, listen, I'm not going to take away hard. the win. But you won, but your fan by base and everybody around the program when is, when is reacting. Is listen what I'm saying. They're reacting like it was a loss. It was a fail. That's the fan base. Why we come, keep talking about they, they. Do, your coach is having to defend it, though. Do they out there in the stands put pads on? Do they out there have to run them But I'm saying them your coach feel it. they out there? No. Your Boy coach feel it enough if, to defend it, though. He feel like he has to defend it. I said I love Shane Beaver. He's my dude. But I, I wish he would stop giving people credit that's on podcasts that say idiotic <laughs> stuff that have no clue stop about football. Stop giving that time of day. We have to share some time with uh, Chief Meteorolo Meteorologist Kendra Kent for a look at this weekend's weather. We'll be back to continue this conversation after the break. It's